This is psychology and I love psychology. Here's a little bit of human influence magic that no one talks about. With online selling being so prominent these days, I want to ask you a question. When you see something you want online, do you just hit that buy button right away or do you pause? Examine the seller or store, the product. And when you're finally convinced, only then will you proceed to the purchase. You've probably heard of the ADA model, which is a marketing model that represents the stages your target audience must take to become your customer. AIDA is an acronym for the steps in the customer's journey, but that is not what this video is about. You can find information about ADA in my video from last week. Today, we have another model to look at. This one is a sales model and it is not nearly as common. In fact, I've only seen this model referenced recently, which is why it's my topic for what I learned this week. The model I'm covering is called LLBB, which stands for Like, Listen, Believe, and Buy. I've only seen a couple references to this and I find it quite interesting. Obviously, when you're the buyer, there is a lot going on ahead of your first purchase with a business you haven't bought from before. And as a seller, there are many things to consider that will affect the customer's journey. ADA is one of them and LLBB is another. ADA is more familiar because it's a marketing concept and it's been around for a hundred years or more. LLBB is less familiar because as I mentioned, it's a sales concept. If you sell in person or on a website, you need LLBB for the best results. That's because before anyone will buy anything, they must trust the seller. No sale is made without trust. But before there is trust, the prospect must internalize the message of the seller, whether that's listening to words or reading them. And before a prospect will even bother to listen or read, they must like the seller. At a minimum, there must be some level of established rapport. And that's where LLBB comes in. LLBB effectively reverse engineers the sequence I just described. As I mentioned, the first L in LLBB is like. I already stated that the buyer must like the seller. But how does that happen? Here's a little bit of human influence magic that no one talks about. What makes the buyer like the seller? Are you ready for this? In order for the buyer to like the seller, the seller must first like the buyer. A good seller or business owner knows the pain points of their potential customers. Establishing a connection and trust in your consumers is everything. And in order to do this, you must first understand what their problems are. What are they looking for? How can I solve those problems for them? You have to like and connect to your customers to be able to establish a bond with them. Because if they feel that you care enough to solve their problems, then they will like you in return. You will present quality products or services because of course, you would not offer a substandard product to a person that you like, right? When customers feel your sincerity and empathy for them, they will like you. It is normal human response to like those who like us. So if you're the salesperson, you must like your prospects to establish a connection, a bond. Once the prospect likes you, we get to the second L, which is listen. When the buyer likes the seller, then the buyer will listen with an open mind. Have you ever run into salespeople offering you random products at a store? They don't know you and you definitely don't know them. Do they appear to like you? Or do they just view you as one of the numbers in their game? And yet they want to tell you how much you will like their product and what it will do for you. How can they possibly know? So how do you react? Are you likely to stop and consider their offer? Or are you more likely to just walk away, continue on your own journey? This is why it's important to first like the buyer. Being able to display your sincerity and connect emotionally to your customers makes them trust you enough to give you the benefit of the doubt. It helps them trust you enough to listen to what you have to say. That is a very powerful thing. And once they do this, you get the opportunity for greater engagement. And that's because if the seller likes the buyer, 
and the buyer likes the seller and listens to the seller, then the buyer will believe the seller. And believe is the first B. The sales process is a transfer of emotion from the seller to the buyer. So if you are excited by what you sell and it's good for your prospect and you like your prospect and they like you and listen to you, they will feel your energy, your conviction and your enthusiasm for the product. And all this will make your prospect want to believe you. So if you have supported the process this far and the buyer listens to you, their wanting to believe you will turn into actual belief. They listen and believe. And finally, what happens when your prospect believes you? This takes us to the second B, buy. When the buyer believes the seller, the buyer will buy. And that's what you want, right? And it all starts when you like your prospects. You start a bond with your prospects, which moves them to having an open mind. You're establishing trust, connecting with their problems, showing enthusiasm to the solution you offer, and getting them to believe you which leads them logically to make a purchase. The most important thing to open that bridge of connection and trust before even starting to offer your products and services is to like your prospects. That sounds so easy. It's a set of dominoes lined up on a table. When you take the first step to like your prospect, each of the prospects as an individual, you tip over the first domino and the rest follow, creating a win-win for both you and your new customer. To summarize, when you like your prospects, your prospects like you. When they like you, they listen. When they listen, they believe. And when they believe, they buy. L-L-B-B. -B. Like, listen, believe, and buy. So that's what I learned this week. I can improve my ability to sell by demonstrating how much I like my target audience. You can do the same. How will you apply this concept in your business? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks and have a great day.